Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And it's time for a daily dose of dismal Disney indeed. Uh, Jonathan Majors, who plays Kang in the MCU, has been found guilty of assault and harassment. Yeah, on two of the charges. There are four charges total. Two of them he was found guilty on, two of them he was not. Yeah, so this is an interesting turn of events. Um, it's definitely uh, go going to uh, place his, his future in the MCU in doubt. Uh, for sure. The MCU's not going to do either because that was their hinging everything on yeah on that yeah so this is it man like like kang's found been found guilty of assault and harassment they cannot keep him disney can't keep him that now they haven't uh issued a statement yet there's been a lot of speculation that they were going to replace him uh either with another actor playing kang i mean they have a whole kang movie coming out the kang dynasty whoopsie doopsie uh, either replace him as Kang or uh, they're going to replace Kang altogether with, you know, somebody like Dr. Doom, which would be a lot more interesting, I think. But I don't know. This is the MCU. They're going to screw it up regardless. So let's um, let's talk about what happened here. And this is a case of like we kind of stayed away from the Jonathan Majors thing. Now, originally, uh, it looked like he was actually kind of being framed. Um, and then they had the trial. And it's like, look, this is he has day in court and this is what happened yep so you know this, this is what happened so we're just gonna report it and we're gonna see where things go so before we get into it any further please subscribe for more pop culture news views and rants guys you get woohoo if you do woohoo uh, real quickly, before we get into this, we reopened the second chance offer for Clownfish Comics 2023. Uh, last call if you want Crimson Wren and previously on Clownfish TV. For now, uh, we might offer Crimson Wren again when we do the part two campaign. But uh, these graphic novels are here. They're beautiful and they're in stock and they're shipping uh, pretty quick. So a couple days probably after you order it, we'll get those out to you. Um, so let's get into this. Uh, this just happened. Uh, Jonathan Majors found guilty of assault and harassment from The Hollywood Reporter. The verdict was reached Monday by a six-person jury over four hours of deliberation spread across three days. The actor is set to be sentenced on February 6th. Uh, Disney so far has not even had time to react to it uh, as of recording this video. I'm sure that they had some kind of – kind of, um, I'm sure they had a statement prepared either way. Yeah, they but, probably did. Because they've had time to think about it, but they haven't done anything yet that I know. Yeah, of. so we're going to be reacting to this because this is the first I've heard about it. Uh, I just I just saw this. A New York jury found Marvel actor Jonathan Majors guilty of reckless assault in the third degree and guilty of harassment. The verdict was reached by a six-person jury after roughly uh, four hours of deliberation. Okay, uh, Majors wearing a why do they have that? Majors wearing a gray suit, black so dress, shirt and tie, and and some fantastic socks. And he smelled nice too. He smelled real nice too. Um, with family members and his girlfriend Megan Good behind him. His verdict was read. Sentencing is February sixth. Charges carry a sentence of up to one year in prison. Dang. Uh, two other charges. On two other charges, he was found not guilty of intentional assault in the third degree and not guilty of aggravated harassment in the second degree. So. Is there like some unwritten rule that like every uh, every uh, superhero actor now has to have some legal trouble? You know, I don't they, know. They announce a Kang movie and now they, they're probably not going to have Kang. And I'm sure Disney's loving this. I'm sure they're just. Well, technically, they could find somebody else to play the part. But yeah, it's a multiverse. I think you're going to have stuff associated with it. They're not going to want. So they'll probably have to step away from it. In total, Majors faced four charges of assaults, aggravated harassment, and harassment after he called 911 on March 25th, which we did talk about. And then we kind of walked away from it because I'm like, I don't, I, I don't know where this is going to go. Let's wait until it goes to court and see what happens. Mm -hmm. Well, here we are. Uh, he said he found his ex-partner, Grace Jabari, unconscious in their apartment. Police arrested Majors after finding apparent injuries on Jabari, including a laceration behind her ear and a bruised and fractured finger. He pled not guilty. Um, is this where... They had the altercation in the uh, taxi cab, I guess. I don't know, because there's a, there a video they were showing where he, like, kind of pushed her back in the car, was running away from her, and she was chasing him, but I'm not sure what that was about. Yeah, it's a private car. Okay, it was a private car. And you saw a text on Major's phone that read, oh, how I wish to be kissing you. So she was upset. He was apparently texting some other girl. Yeah, I don't and, blame uh, her. I'd be pissed, too. Oh, I know you'd be pissed. I'd have that phone shoved up my ass. <laughs> it's probably and true. that'd be it. Like, man dies... From anal phone injury. <laughs> anal phone fissures. <laughs> anal anal phone fissure, yes. Uh, suspect at large. Uh, she's fled You'll the country. You'll never miss her. She's red, angry ginger. <laughs> <laughs> she tried to snatch the phone from Majors, who pried her finger from the phone, grabbed her arm and right hand, twisted her form, struck her in the head to get the phone away from her. 
Uh, first three charges are misdemeanor offenses related to alleged incidents in the car. Yeah, because there was, I remember when this happened. It was like, okay, that's not actually what happened. Um, she was being kind of a twit to him first, and then it looked like he was going to get off uh, completely. And then it boomeranged back around, and now they're like, nope, nope, nope. Uh, charges against majors were brought by the state of New York rather than by Jabari herself. So the state followed mm-hmm. the charges. So that would be the police. The case was the police. The case was a criminal trial as opposed to civil, meaning the burden of proof is higher for the jury who had to find proof of guilt beyond a reasonable shadow of a doubt on each charge. And apparently they did. On two of them. Two of them. Mm-hmm. The arrest has already had implications on what had been the biggest year in Major's career with Ant-Man and the Wasp. I don't know if that's a highlight. Creed 3 and Loki Season 2. In the wake of his arrest, both his publicity firm, uh, the lead company, and managers at Management 360 dropped yeah, him. they dropped him back when this happened. Okay, and the Disney-owned Searchlight Features removed magazine dreams from the He was also, he, he had some kind of... Um, Army Yeah, he had some commercial too, yeah. with that going on, and they, they, they paused that, too. So here's, here's where we come down on this and I know a lot of people are like why do you defend the worst people we believe everybody has to have their day in court and at the time we talked about majors before we did not know the full story we had the story that uh you know they were trying to spin to the press and then we had the story his story which we was still like, don't know the full story we still don't know the full story we but whatever let's see what the courts do but let's see what the courts do right and in this case, they, they found him guilty. So, you know, it was, it was too early to speculate what Disney was going to do with him. Um, oh, too early. They haven't said, they haven't said anything Oh, yet. they're definitely going to get rid of him at this point. Oh, I, 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 they got rid of Johnny Depp for life, and he didn't even apparently do it, according to the, the courts. Well, that pissed people off because they're like, Johnny Depp, you know, he had his day in court. He didn't do it, right? Um, and uh, he still has a hard time, you know, getting back into the studios now. So... You know, it's like one of those things where it's like, look, if somebody is legitimately shitty and they're doing legitimately shitty illegal things, then, yeah, you know, get rid of them. But there were a lot of people caught up in the net that were not doing the things they were accused of doing. Mm -hmm. Um, So in the statement after the verdict, Ross Kramer, an attorney for Jabari, said they hope the guilty verdict inspires other victims of assault. Uh, we're gratified to see justice served by today's guilty verdict. Uh, Ms. Jabari, I think it's Jabari, testified publicly and truthfully, even though reliving these traumatic events was painful. Um, yeah, so I don't know. I don't, don't know what's going to happen. happen. Disney has not said anything yet, to my knowledge. I just checked again. I don't see a statement from Disney, like another one saying, here's Disney's statement. So this is his his attorney. And I remember her. I think it's Priya Chidari. Um, she said... His fear of what happens when a black man in America calls 911 came true. He didn't oh, testify yeah. during the trial and showed little emotion except for tearing up during the closing arguments. Uh, as part of his defense, uh, his attorney claimed Jabari was the aggressor in the car. That's what that, that's where we left it. I thought well, that's what happened. The guy in the car driving the car had originally said that that he didn't see that happen in the car, but that's what you know, he said, yeah, they had a video. I thought, they, his opinion I thought they had a video of it and yeah, they stuff. Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna release the video. They never did. Yeah, it said pointing to the fact that Major's coat was ripped and Jabari was seen in surveillance. Yeah, they uh, did show that video. After Major's yes. down the street. Yeah, she chases him. If he's supposed to be beating her to a pulp, she was chasing him. Um, after he left the car. The uh, the attorney argues that she was uninjured after leaving the car and had gone revenge partying at a club where she bought champagne on Major's credit card. Uh, while still being able to use her right hand, which she said had been injured. She testified that she had sought help from three strangers on the street after the first altercation in the car, and they invited her to a club. But wait a minute. Yeah, I just got my <sighs> ass kicked by the so, clubbing. Okay. Three strangers. <laughs> I was like. No, she was probably going to go get some booty and then, like, you know, say, hey, guess where I was last night? I just found three random dudes. And, uh, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, so, his lawyer said that uh there's a lot more about his she, what his lawyer says than yeah. there is about what actually the, the, the jury his, said his lawyer is trying to save his career at this point like look I, I mean i wasn't there obviously i don't know what actually happened and i do know that men get you know uh framed for a lot of stuff they they didn't do um unfortunately but in this case the jury found him guilty mm-hmm. and regardless of whether or not he actually did it or whatever the jury found him guilty. It's screaming. That's all Disney's going to care. That's about. all they're going to care about. That's all they're going to care about is like, oh my god, our big bad has just been found guilty of assault. That's all they're going to see. Their PR people are going to see Jonathan Majors found guilty of assault, 
And they're going to be like, well, shit. Well, I'm sure they're taking calls about it right now because Monday's usually meeting days. <laughs> so I'm sure they're losing their shit at Marvel right now. Well, they probably, I'm already, sure had, they they already probably had plans in play, like yeah. execute order, whatever, because they probably had what one. Order 616. Was, I'm saying, yeah. like, order 69. No, whatever he was found guilty of, if he was found guilty or if he was found innocent, they probably had plans either way. And now they'll have to initiate whatever. And then release the statements they had probably pre-written. Yeah, they've been talking about recasting Kang for a while. I mean, they announced a Kang movie. Uh, they could technically. They took yeah, because we're talking about a character that exists in the multiverse. I mean, and you know, you've got a variant that just happens to look different. I mean, that's not that big of a stretch for the audience to believe. Like, yeah, he just he's Kang, but not quite the same Kang, but it's still a Kang. I don't know if they're going to do that though, because they're going to still going to be associated with him. You know what I mean? Kang is a weak ass villain in the MCU. They, they've done gang dirty. Uh, if they would bring Dr. Doom in and do, do it right, I think that'd be a much bigger threat leading in the Secret Wars. But, uh, you know, I, but I see the key caveat is do it right. Do it right. See, that's the caveat. And I don't think Disney can. Yeah, I don't know if I don't know if they can either. I'm going to be like, honest. Do it right. He better be. You better put a chick in it. Make it gay. Make it lame. Doctor. <laughs> doctor is gender neutral. Doctor Doom could be, you know. Oh, my God. A girl. Doctor. Doctor Doom is. Uh, yeah. Oh my God. Doctor Doom with tits. I could. I could totally see them doing that. Well, well there's supposed- there might be a lot of people will come watch them maybe just because Doctor Doom has tits. But that's a whole other story. <laughs> Wouldn't it be Nurse Doom? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> I identify as Nurse now. Um. No. Uh. That's so that's really sexist. It then, is very. That's sexist. That's because okay. For those who don't know, there was a joke when Doctor Who was getting made a woman. People were arguing that it should be Nurse Who, not nurse Doctor Who. Who, because it's a woman. That was the play. He doesn't actually believe that men, women can't be doctors. No, I, I have, better clarify I've, I've had that female because, doctors. I've had female doctors before. Some yes, dipshit will be like, "You're yeah, exactly. an so I'm gonna like, clip that and I'm gonna take it to the. Oh my God! Just no. I I'm I'm jo- as I have a to joke. clarify that. A joke. Some dumbass will be like, "It's a joke," because yeah. some dumbass would be. But no, um, they're already talking about giving the Silver Surfer tits. So you know, yeah, why the hell that, not? So. Why the hell not? I don't know, guys. I think this uh, this is definitely it spells doom for the MCU. The MCU is already look. The MCU is already fucked. Okay, uh, losing your your main villain, the guy who was supposed to be the big bad in Secret Wars going forward, you're like double fucked. Really? I mean, they are, but I'm like, honestly, I don't think you can mess it up any more than they already no. have. So if you shift the, the villain, you know, I don't think it's going to matter because no one cared in the first place. Uh, that's that's basically it. People were even like, hey, yeah, Jonathan Majors, he's not a terrible actor, but like compared to Thanos, he doesn't seem like much of a threat. But here's the thing, like know? right now might be the perfect time if they, if they have to recast or if they have to change it up to somebody else. No one, the Marvel is rock bottom right now. Marvel is like their movies are doing shit. Like nobody's going to see their movies and their shows are dropping off a cliff. So right now might be the best time to change it as opposed to if they if they somehow get it back up, you don't want to change it then. Oh, I, I know what they'll do because they're stupid. They'll cast like Pat, uh, Patton Oswalt as Galactus or something. Just don't cast Patton Oswalt at all. Don't, don't cast He's a dipshit. I hate that guy. Don't cast him at all. God, we watched what we watched last night, the uh, making of the Star Wars holiday special. Uh-huh. And he was on there. Him and Kevin Smith right Him there. and Kevin Smith. My and personal favorite of the whole thing when they were talking about, well, when people expect a certain thing, you probably shouldn't change it. And I was like... Kevin oh. Smith was saying yes. I was like, fuck you! But that was like Kevin Smith from like two or three years ago. I'm I like, also was like, but that was when he was doing it. Yeah. There were many middle fingers flashed at the screen. But anyway. I'm sure he saw you. Yeah, I'm sure he did. Um, oh, trust me. He feels me. You feel me. You feel your rage all the anyway. way across the country. Uh, we're going to wrap this up. Yes. So I, we'll, we'll keep you guys posted on this. But yeah, there you go. Disney's not going to like this. They're not going to like it one bit. And I can almost guarantee you he is done uh, as as Kang. So we're going to wrap it up. Yep. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. We'll talk later. Bye.